Hi there. In this video, I'm going to go over the basics of skinning ASP.NET Storefront uh, version 8. And this will apply to version 7 as well, pretty well. So let me just jump right into it. Uh, here is the out of the box skin and template that we're looking at. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is go over the very basics, just jumping into the files of the website and, and looking at which files. Uh, we need to modify in order to modify the skin. So here I am in the web folder and you can see that there's a skins directory and if you open that up in a default installation you'll just have skin 1. So that's what we've got here um, and in version 8 it's as simple as that. Everything you need to modify the skin is contained within the skins folder. You can have several skins in here um, so I'll show you how to do that right now. Let's uh, actually create skin two and we'll work with skin two. So all I did was copy that folder and we'll just rename it to two. And now that'll be available from the back end of your website. So I've got the front end open here and I'm going to just switch over to this tab where I've got the back end open with the admin console. And under app config parameters is where you'll find an app config called the default skin ID. So if you just search in here for skin ID, it'll be your first result. I'm going to change that to two and hit update. So one thing to know about skins is that they actually get cookied. So the first time you come to your site, uh, you'll get cookied with the default skin. Um, and since I've already visited the site once and my default skin was one at that time, I'll get cookied with the default skin. So I'll still be on skin one. Um, it's hard to tell here because uh, skin two is actually going to look identical to skin one since we just duplicated it. Um, but one way to ensure that you get the new default skin is to clear out your cookies. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then refresh the site. Alright, so now we should be working with skin 2. So let's take a look at the contents of this new skin we just created. Um, it's made up the main parts I'll focus on are today are the style sheet and the template. So those are really the two that you can do a lot of damage with. You can you can completely rearrange the way your site works using just those two files. Um, and then in here you've also got an XML packages folder. In there is all the skin specific XML packages for your site. Uh, we can take a look in there. Um, most of these just well, this guy in particular, rev.categories, rev.departments, and rev.manufacturers render out these left-hand navigation groups here. And that's about all we're going to talk about with XML packages. Um, and then in the images folder is where you'll want to keep your skin-specific images. So. You know, it's kind of up to you which ones you put in here and which ones you put up in the root images folder. Um, but mostly things that you're going to use with your, within the skin of your site, uh, like background images for headers and such, you'll want to have in here. So that's the basic makeup of a skin in version 8. Um, let's take a look real briefly at the template file. And for now, I'm just going to open it up with Notepad. And let's get a little better color coding. There we go. So here you can see it's it's basically just HTML going on. There's a few fancier things like this component art menu is a control. And you can see uh, tokens interspersed throughout the template. And we'll kind of take a look at those in a little bit. But and the template is where you'll find the HTML that makes up your website's template. And then the style sheet is where you'll find all the styles applied to that HTML. So all the formatting and colors and 
layout element, uh, the layout styles. So that's about it.